Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black. In the last time, or in the last episode, we got into this here cave. And we also went through all of Route 6 without battling a single, or we battled one person. But that doesn't matter. And uh, this time, we're gonna run into a random Pokemon right off the bat. And hopefully we can redeem Vanillite. Just a tad. Just a tad. Just some redemption. It's all I want and need. I mean, this... It's not like... I don't know. Okay. I don't know why that's not super effective, though. It should be. Because, uh... Have you ever... I mean... Have you ever just melted ice? You get water. What's super effective on rock type? Water. It's a win-win for me, but no, not according to the Pokemon. Gosh dang, Pokemon game. Th okay, this right here, this is kind of like running into an Audino. It's a special type of uh, grass or area, but you can find different items in it. Typically, uh, you'll find in here you'll find a drillbur, uh, but you'll also, if you find an item, you get gems. You give them to a Pokemon, and for that move that it has or it uses, it'll have a good. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It it will ha it'll do better like once. So yeah. Can you avalanche on a clink? Oh. 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 Maybe I really just should put on a repel. I've ran in circles this entire episode. Nothing has happened. But, uh... And we've already lost someone. We're gonna heal up a vanilla. <laughs> Get this stupid item. Do do boo do do. <laughs> Where is this item? Oh my gosh! I need to throw a barbell. <laughs> Steel types. Not a fan. Repel time is the best time to go into our thing, use a max repel, you never let Vanillite faint again. Where is this item? Oh well. I can't find it. Maybe I'm just running in circles, which clearly I am. But not that that matters. We're actually going to make some progress. You, you came here because somebody manipulated you. If you can win against me, I'll tell you the secret. All right, well, hopefully we can win against you. Gosh dang, Team ple Plasma. Team Plasma Grunt sends out a sand dial. Okay, now here are the things that we can personally deal with. I have full faith in you, Vanillite. Please. Please. Okay, now you have an embargo on us. I guess you could say you have an embargo on an ice cube. Because we had an embargo on Cuba. The America. It's super hilarious and cool. Alright, uh, Scraggy, not gonna do too well against, I mean, Vanilla it's not going to do too well against Scraggy, so we need to switch it out, be careful, be kind, a gentle soul, Scraggy. Alright, going to do some good old acrobatics, as you tend to do when you're a bird. I mean, if you have a parrot, does it do acrobatics? I'd be pretty impressed if... 
I could see a bird doing some acrobatics just like Arkin, being the best. Alright, now as a watchdog, Vanillite, I'm putting my faith in you again. <clears throat> Please. Just be really cool and kill this here watchdog, or I mean make it faint. Nothing ever dies in the Pokemon world. I swear to god. Alright. Up, and here comes the. <laughs> there goes half more of our HP. Okay, now. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow! Oh, wow. That is amazing. Please, Vanillite. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh. Vanillite, I'm begging you here. Yes! You hit. Didn't one-shot it, but it didn't have much damage. Thank you. I promise, Vanillite isn't this bad when I used it when I used it before. It's so good. It's just gonna take a little while, I guess, to get good. Snapped out of confusion. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna heal up real quick. And yeah. Gonna do that. Alright, let us resume. Let's see how Vanilla does this battle. If I went against you, release your Pokemon. Well, we're leading with Vanilla, so we might need to release our Pokemon. Alright. Scraggy. Not finna like it's time to shine. Cause this here is a fighting type. And you know what they say about fighting types. Don't if you're a fighting type, just punch a block of ice. That's what they say. Do it if you're a fighting type. It's good for the heart. Bad for the soul. Okay, now Arkin is going to do a lot less damage, but that's okay. We would have one shot, and Swagger, because Confusion. Can you hit through Confusion, Arkin? I believe. How come it's j it's just Vanillite? Just Vanillite, nobody else. Oh, man. That is something special right there. Because... Oh, my gosh. I've never been just so, like, disappointed is the word in my Pokemon. And I f hate feeling disappointed in them. Because in, in respect, it's me. I'm the failure here. This is me. They're my friends. And I'm failing them. Pokemon living in the charred stone cave are so beautiful because they are free from people. That's why you guys are here, right? Right? That's why you're here. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Some trubbish. That's absolute trubbish. Oh my gosh, my phone is ringing. I'm just gonna let other people get it. Sludge. Okay, we're poisoned. 
We are poison. Okay, we are poison. And if you couldn't tell, we're poison. I wouldn't have known either. But because we are having the best luck right here, if you couldn't tell, we got poisoned. Gonna use some home claws right there. Not even that I care at all, because I don't. 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 Gonna take down again. You, you gotta be. You're F on high pursuits. I'm gonna heal again. I need to heal again. I hate having to heal again. But I need to heal again. If you. I don't want to learn Roar. Roar is just a more elaborate run. Ugh, I'm gonna go heal. Okay. Team Galactic! You! You are the trainer that my Lord N warned us about. I'm going to send out Pokemon that are specifically aimed to make you sad. Enjoy! Oh boy, it's Trubbish. He's Trubbish. My, my fan club. I'm your biggest fan. Clearly because we didn't hit you. But I mean, that's to be expected. Darumaka doesn't have very good accuracy. Critical hit. Nice. Alright. And it's a Trubbish. Trushay. Trubbishay. Stockpile. Stockpile. Trubbish defenses rose. Oh boy. That makes me happier than a handbasket. I don't, I don't even know if that makes sense. And it probably doesn't. Because what even is a hand basket? It's a basket for your hands. Why would you put hands in a basket? That is just the most confusing thing. Darmok is level 29. And it looks like we have to fight a Trubbish. This person is just taking out the garbage today. And they're like, I guess I'll use it in a Pokemon battle. Alright. Garbage. Go. Just kind of throws out the garbage that they had in, in their home. Ha! What a time. What a time. Okay, we're gonna... Die... Went into the wrong area! Hooray! Okay, we need to go into our bag. We need to heal. Because we're super bad at Pokemon. We are just the worst. So now... 29 boys. As a proud member of Team Plasma, I will gladly battle you. Are you okay, dude? You have, you have strep throat? I can understand. Like two weeks ago or whatever, back when I didn't upload and then it threw off my entire schedule. Just, I had, I guess what was strep throat, because I couldn't talk. And not being able to talk is just the worst. Of course you're going to confuse me. Because you're a gosh dang piece of garbage. Watch out. Not. Not Trubbish. Because Trubbish. I enjoy Trubbish. I hate you, Watch out. So you're worse than garbage. What do you have? Just some poofy cheeks? You're gonna super fang me? I'm gonna hit myself in confusion again? Because that's how this life works. And, you know. I'm not going to be the happiest camper, but I'm going to be still camping because if you quit the camp, you don't have a good time, and you want to have a good time. Have you ever been camping in the rain? Because I've camped in the rain before. My first ever camp out was when I was, like, seven. And, well, I'm in the scouts, and scouts go camping. But I started at age seven and it was just gonna be a one night over night kind of thing and gosh dang of course my first one 
While it didn't get cancelled, only one other family went because it was supposed to be a hurricane that night. And it was like, it's possibly that there's going to be a hurricane, but it's possible that there's not going to be a hurricane. And my dad was like, I'll take the chance. So I camped out in a hurricane and I woke up at like four in the morning and it was like, because I was, I remember I had, a, I had a dream, I was having a dream that like I was inside of a school and the school was flooding and I woke up literally in a puddle of water because the tent was just flooded all over. And my dad and my brother had been up for a little while and I was like, what's going on? They're like, it's raining. And I was like, really? Couldn't have guessed. And so, dumped, we were like, okay, we need to just get out of here. Go inside the, the rest building. We have the keys for it. So, we made sure the other tent that was there uh, were, was okay. And they were like, yeah, we're going to make a break for our car, too. Because for some reason, we had to ride in two different cars. We couldn't all just squish into one. And, yeah, we went to the building. And so at 4.30 in the morning, uh, me, my brother, and this one kid ate cookie crisp as we waited for the storm to calm down. And this is why I don't like cookie crisp. Just kidding. I just don't like cookie crisp because I, I was never a fan. I was like, this is like a home-baked cookie in my cereal and it's like no it's not home it's not like a home-baked cookie in your cereal it's like a mediocre cookie from like walmart the walmart bakery aisle if there even is one i don't know but yeah so that was my experience camping it was a hoot and a half the hope of team plasma well it has nothing to do with you well then, I have hope. I have feelings. You're just gonna crush my feelings like that? How dare you? Oh my gosh. Killing my feelings, and now you're gonna send out a leopard make me punch a cat. Why would you make me punch a cat? You're just the worst. The worst person. Yeah, and you faked me out. It's not a cat, it's a dog. It's a dog that looks like a cat, because you faked me out. I'm gonna punch it with fire. Fire! I'm gonna hone your claws, and now I'm really confused. Is it a dog? Is it a cat? You faked me out. I missed. I missed. I fired. I missed. I fired again. I missed. I missed both times. I fired. I missed. Gosh dang. Killed the leopard. Got to level 30. We are Darumaka. We are the savior of. Ooh. Well, I am tempted. So what Belly Drum does is it uh, cuts your HP in half. At, well, half your maximum HP. And it maxes out your damage and stuff. It's really good. Uh, I'm... Uh, do I get rid of work up for it? It'll be fun to use when I can, so I guess. And I don't use work up very much. Okay. I mean, Darumaka's very frail. But maybe we'll get citrus berries or something. Maybe we'll put a leftovers on it if we can find it. Okay. So, I'll just let you know right now. This way is not the way out. It just isn't. It continues down. And you have more fun to be had and stuff like that. Yeah, it, although that was a horrible way to speak. There is no more fun to be had. There's fun to have. Or I said fun to be have. Or something like that. So you fight the, this guy. And he's like, I'm a grumble, grumble, grumble. Okay, trader, use Pokemon. Show me your strength. Thank you, dude. So we're gonna now fight the Team Plasma. We're gonna realize that we've spent all these minutes doing nothing except rambling into a microphone 
and having a grand time. But you know what? That's what you guys wanted to hear. That's why I do this. I am here for you. I'm gonna punch the crocodile. Yeah! I punched him. Now we got Watch Hog. I hate you, Watch Hog. We're gonna throw out a bird. You know what they say about birds? They eat Watch Hogs. Look at Arkin's teeth. He's got cool teeth. He's gonna eat your Watch Hog. I know this game is about not having Pokemon cruelty, but it's okay if Pokemon cause Pokemon cruelty, right? I know animal cruelty is never okay. Don't. I mean, if it has to do it to survive, that's one thing. Survival is cool. But never be like, gosh dang, Watchog, I wish you would die. Because if it died, then it would be just a really sad day. Nobody wants a dead hog. Oh. Well, it's you. Many different values mixed together. And the world becomes gray. That is unforgivable. I will separate Pokemon and people, and black and white will be clearly distant. Only then will Pokemon become perfect beings. Yes, that is my dream. That is the dream I must fulfill. Elijah, do you have a dream of your own? Yeah, I think I do. You have a dream? That is wonderful. I'll learn just what kind of dream you have in battle. Alright guys, we have N. LMNOP, here he is. You're challenged by Team Plasma N. He sends out Boldor, level 28. Rock type, with the moves. Mud Slap, Iron Defense, Smackdown, Power Gem. I picked the wrong Pokemon. We should have started off with Cerevenir, Cerevine, Cerevenir, Cerevine, Cerevenir, Cerevenir, Smackdown! Okie dokie. So now we are going to use Leaf Tornado. It's like the Monado, except it can't take you back in time. He's got sturdy. Expect that a lot. Recognize that, that, that. That's the sturdy ability, and just expect every Pokemon to have that for the rest of this game. Don't actually expect all the Pokemon to have it for the rest of this game. Just expect a large amount of them to. It is annoying. Okay. So now, Joltik. Now is when you I'm gonna send out Vanillite. Okay, Vanillite. Here's your chance. Please. You can't get confused here. Okay. Joltik. Level 28. Bug Electric type with the moves Electro Web, Bug Bite, Gastro Acid, and Slash. Gonna avalanche it. He's gonna Bug Bite me. We're gonna have a unique turnabout. And we're gonna do well against... A Pokemon. Yes, please. Don't. If he got a crit right there, I would have been so mad. Joltik fainted. Thank goodness. Okay. Pharaoh Seed. The Pokemon that I said last time. I'm not a huge fan of it for single player, even though I have used it for single player, but I've also used it for multiplayer. And it's much better in multiplayer, because its attack stat is not the group greatest, but uh, you just have to blow a little fire on it and it's dead. It's also super slow. Okay. Iron barb, so it hurt me a little. Oh no. Okay. And now we got Clink. Clink's Adventure. The end. Uh, the Legend of Zelda and the Savior of Clink. Clink the hero of time. I just realized... I just realized, uh, how many... There aren't too many, uh, Zelda games with Link as the... in the title. 
Tsk. Why? Is it impossible for me to win while feeling bad about being a trainer? As if I could pursue my ideals with something as meaningless as a battle. As if that could make me worthy to become friends with the legendary Pokemon. Elijah! Oh, hey there. Just a little further to Maxtra... Miss... Miss Ralden City. Bianca, you have good ears. I can't believe you heard Elijah's voice from that far away. Elijah. Elijah, who is this trainer? Professor Juniper, what are you thinking? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between Pokemon and people. You put p Pokemon into categories using arbitrary rules and think you can understand them like that. The very idea of a Pokedex revolts me. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh my. Looks like you're not my biggest fan. Your opinion is understandable. It happens to be different from mine. Which is equally understandable. How about if all Pokemon get to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? You're saying I should just allow people to think whatever they want? And treat Pokemon however they want? No matter whether the Pokemon suffer? I refuse to tolerate the existence of a world like that. Oh. Well then. Well, I didn't expect him to change his mind right away. But I hope he'll spend a little time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think I'll go collect a little more data for Pokemon and people to get along better. We need to take steps to learn about to learn more about them. Um, Elijah, I'm gonna go with Professor Juniper now, cause I'm her bodyguard. All right. Well, pl thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, can Consider giving it a like in the thingy or whatever. Do whatever you gotta do. If you didn't, maybe give it a dislike. I'm up for uh, different things. Diversity is cool. And uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a fantastic day and remember, you are important as well. Gosh dang it.